crazy cool. There's a lot of different kinds of people here and it's pretty awesome. It's kind of overwhelming. It's like a mixture of a street festival and like every other music festival ever invented. Um, it's kind of hard. I, I mean, I haven't really been able to grasp it yet. I, I try not to think about it. It gets too overwhelming sometimes. Um, but definitely, I mean, I don't know, other than, I don't know what, how else to describe it other than just like, I feel very lucky. I mean, I feel very grateful, but it's, I try not to think too much into it or else I get overwhelmed a little bit too quickly, but um, yeah. That was kind of our first insight into like the amount of work that it takes to put in like a properly produced EP. Um, and it was amazing. I think we learned, we actually did it in like three, four, three days, three days. Three days. Um, and it was honestly like probably the most we've learned in any three days we've been together. Like this is how you perform in the studio. This is how you get what you, the sound you want to get. It was awesome. And we still are in communication with David Z and Bobby Z and just saw him in LA. Yeah. It was when we first sat down with him, he had us play an entire set list and he sat alone and listened to it. And that was probably one of the most intimidating sets I've ever played. Scariest. And then yeah. he picked the songs that he thought should be on the EP. So that was, I mean, he ran by us, like, well, yeah, I mean, we got to say uh, we agree or not, but he happened to go with the songs we kind of thought with and he changed some of them and shortened some of them in positive ways. We definitely learned a lot. Yeah, we did this kind of rehearsal where he just like cut and pasted different parts of our songs. And that was one of the biggest learning processes, I think, for us in terms of like our performing and learning how you need to write a bridge. You know, like, I mean, you don't have to, but like just about the way that we write our music. And he was just giving us all these tips that we'd never heard of before. And it was just really amazing. I mean, working with such an amazing and experienced person, so. That's our hope. Yeah. yeah. We'll say yeah. yeah. By the end of 2014 or 2015? Maybe go 2015. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Yeah. Because we still, we have to finish college. And she <laughs> has to finish high school. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely that's what's like the next step for us. Um, working with David Z and maybe some other producers or something along those lines. Um, Really looking forward to a full length because right now the set list we're touring is really, really fun to play. We're getting good feedback. Yeah. I'm so, I feel like such a fangirl like about her, and I'm. She's definitely one of the most inspirational people. I think like we all can agree on that that we've ever met because she just exudes like warmth and like just confidence and just in her performance she just so is so comfortable up on stage and I know that we learned so much for like we only played what four four or five shows five shows, with her. five shows with her and each one we just learned so much and she it was just unbelievable even as much as what goes on behind the stage especially when an artist is touring she was a really good example of how to relax and Keeps you keeps yourself in a way that's not like it doesn't exclude you from everyone else. But she really focused on her work at hand, which was performing and being fully available for her fans. And her band was a great. It was just really we were really lucky to be able to tour with them. They were the great first band to go on tour with. Yeah. Hey, Summerfest. Hi. Sunrise Nation. Can't wait to play here tonight. Come check us out at 6:45 on the U.S. Cellular stage. And to all our fans out there, we wouldn't be who we are without you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>